Hello, good people, how are you? I've got a really special treat for you. It's a Land Rover Defender Expedition Camper. You know the ones, it's got the pop top, the camper interior. It's got all the bolt on bits that we love. It's not mine, I wish it was. I'm really excited, let's go and have a look. And here it is, it's a Land Rover Defender Expedition Camper. Go anywhere vehicle, I mean, this has got everything on it, all over it, and I wanna show you around the whole thing, especially the inside, because that's got a full camper interior, um, which I love. So a little bit of background about me first. My name's Errol, and I've been building vehicles like this for the last 10 years. This particular one, I built this, oh, what, about three, four years ago now, it's just before COVID, and unfortunately, it hasn't been used like it should be used, but uh, I've got a feeling it is gonna be used now. All the items you see on the truck there, I'm gonna try and do my best to put the links to those companies in the description below and the fabrics and so forth that I used. If I do happen to miss anything, then please do comment below and I'll do my best to uh, answer those. Now, I do know that a lot of people who do expeditions and so forth prefer the 300 CDI because the problem with this, it's got lots of electronics inside and that can put people off. It doesn't put me off though, because this was made quite a while back now and there's loads of these vehicles out there around the world traveling all the time and it's a proven product now. I, I don't think there's anything to worry about. It really shouldn't put you off. Wow, I mean, look at the size of that nudge bar. ARB nudge bar, that is huge, isn't it? And a couple of light full spots. I've had these for years, actually. These are absolutely fantastic. And a big old winch as well. We've got tread plate in all the normal places. And if you look on the roof there, just above the uh, LED strip like there, that's a massive storage box specifically designed for this vehicle. Best way to get it, straight on here. That's what they're designed for. Go straight on there. And that is the other good thing about Land Rover Defenders. The reason why this vehicle is chosen so much for this kind of job is because you can just unbolt all the body panels and you can chop and change them about. It's dead simple. Well, I say dead simple. It's pretty simple to do. In the front, we have a monitor here for all your split charge system, a uh, battery under here, and there's also one in the rear. We do indeed have a center console area here, which uh, loads of storage. You can put your CB in there as well if you want overhead shelf that comes with the alley cab roof. Um, we have a removal steering wheel as well, which is really good for security. Now there's lots of bits on the outside of this vehicle that I want to talk to you about. Notably, some of the obvious things are like the rock and tree sliders down here, also excellent for standing on. We've got a stainless steel 56 litre water tank down below there with the water inlet there. We have LED strip lights here, here and also round the back. Alley cab shadow awning, it's a 270 degree one that comes all the way out. It's freestanding, but it does also have some legs. We also have this aluminium side box. We've got one either side. I had these specifically made for this very vehicle and I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, what else? As you can see, the big box of storage box on the top there, as I mentioned earlier. Interesting thing to note, what I do with these, because it's got the alley cab pop top on there, I choose the front runner slimline roof rack above there. Now that's the short one that you put on a Defender 90. Reason being is when you lift the roof, you wanna keep most of the weight to the front and not on the back. So we are left with a little area at the back and on there we've put a solar panel. I think, yeah, we've got two solar panels, 100 watts each. So it just makes it a little bit easier to lift it up and down. And of course, as I said earlier, you can access that box there from the front. This side box, which I had specifically made for this vehicle, needed to have a dual purpose, not just for storage. I wanted it to be a shelf as well. So it needed to detach and slot in. I'll show you. Superb, excellent. One thing I forgot to mention was that under the passenger seat here, there's a hidden safe. Have a look at this. Mmm. Cool. 
What's also really great about these five door versions, you can access so much from the side doors. I'll just show you. We look under these seats here, so you've got more storage underneath there and also underneath there. Two great big lockers. As I mentioned earlier, this has got the Alucab Icarus pop top roof and it's a huge double bed up there. I fitted about 30, 40 of these in the last five, six years. I couldn't recommend them highly enough. They're absolutely fantastic. Let's get this one open. Cool. That's in fact got the updated fabric. That darker grey is a much heavier gauge material, perfect for the UK weather. Wow, fantastic, look at that. Coming around to this side, we do have another locker here. This one doesn't become a table um, because it's a bit tricky to do it because with the uh, fuel inlet there. And also this is the inlet part here for the offshore hookup. Inside here, we have another cupboard. Inside here we have the gas bottles and we have your consumer unit for your offshore hookup. Ventilation for the back of the fridge and access to the fuse board as well. I forgot to mention, this one's even got the front runner table that slides in to the roof rack, it's just up here. This table here, you see that up there, that slides out, full size table that is. They're brilliant, they are, they're brilliant. So here we have a full camper interior. Things to note, first thing here, we have a rear door shelf. There we go. This is perfect for just stopping every now and again, making a quick cup of tea. Absolutely brilliant for that. I always put my chairs in this area here because it's always the first thing you're gonna grab. So we'll take those out first. And what we have up here is a attachment for the hose. So this here is the cold water supply that runs off the tank there. You can use it outside for a shower as well. Let's have a look inside. Okay, we have a gray laminated nine millimeter birch reply material and it slots into all this aluminium trim. This is flight case material. Um, links in the description below. We have lots of openings as you can see, loads and loads of openings all over the place. Gotta open them all, that's what you do, right? Let's get them open, there we go. Superb. We have a fridge, this is I think about a 50 litre fridge and it has a freezer compartment as well for your ice cubes, for your gin and tonics, perfect. We've got more storage down here as well and under the two seats here, even more storage again down here, like so. Around the side here, we have the controls for your heater. It's an Eberspacher D2 and the heater outlet is right there. We also have a, a gauge there to see how much water you got in your water tank. One other thing I really like about this one is we put in a single gas ring burner on the end here. Now it's quite a large gas ring, I know most of your stuff you do outside, all your cooking's done in the good weather, but now and again, you wake up in the morning and it's raining. You don't want to go outside, do you? You want a cup of tea or a coffee first thing. That's why that's there. Now there is a gas bottle in the side box externally. Um, and I think this is, for me, this is a no brainer. On the two end walls here, we have three pin sockets for external hookup. We also have USB sockets and lots of switches as well to control all the various lights and speakers as well. And a nice little drop-in box right at the end here as well. That's really handy. I've also put in two additional small fans behind the fridge just to draw all that hot air out when you go to a hot country to try and keep it cool. Now with regards to the Alucab bed, well as I said, it is full length and you have two flaps. You've got one flap here, and the other one over here. And the best bet, 
and I'm five foot ten, but you can still sit here inside with the roof down. That's pretty cozy. One other little thing I did when I built this interior it was to have the ability to be able to sleep down below. Now, obviously one person could go here, but if you get the table, and there's a pole that goes here with a table if you want to use it, it drops in on these two runners, put another mattress in here. Hey, presto, two people, it's a bit tight, granted, but they can sleep down here. Why would you want to do that? Well, sometimes you want to stealth camp and you can't always pop the top up, can you? If you're in the back streets of somewhere. And also there's two people traveling together who, uh, well, maybe not want to sleep together. So it's a brilliant way of separating out two people. Well, there it is, the Land Rover Defender 2.4 TDCI. What a great vehicle, a perfect base for a Land Rover Defender Expedition vehicle with a full camper interior, a pop top, loads of bits and pieces. What's not to like? This is a perfect base if you're looking to go around the world or even a small adventure. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And please do press that subscribe button. That will really help. Till next time, thanks again. Take care.